how to make a tarpaulin layout in Canva. Canva sizes in Canva. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can build your own tarpaulin layout in Canva. Now, this is really easy to do in Canva. If you go into Google and search for tarpaulin, canvas sizing, and you guys can scroll down and you can see some of the standard sizing of canvases. And you can easily choose your own banner style for a tarpaulin layout. Or you can even go into Canva, go into your search bar and search for banner. Once you search for banner, a lot of the basic banner templates are based on that size. You can just click on create blank banner and this will create a blank canvas for you in a tarpaulin layout. And you can see you have several different templates you can play around with and you can customize. However, if you are someone that does not want to go with a template and you want your own very uh, customized size, you can simply head on over to Canva and you're going to go into custom size. Once you go into custom size, you have different units. So on the right, you have pixels, you have inches, you have millimeters, and then you have centimeters. So you're going to change that from pixels into inches because that's just what I like to do. And the basic size is 72 by 36. This is the standard size of a tarpaulin, not a tarpaulin canvas. So what I'm going to do, you can see you have tarpaulin templates available, but I'm going to go with a tarpaulin canvas size, sizes width and height. Mm, we have four by two, which is 48 by 24, which I think would be better for me, which is 36 by 24. I'm going to go with a 36 by 24 size, which I'm just going to type in over here. Once I do that, we're going to click on create new sign. And once you click on create new sign, this will allow you to create your blank canvas. Now, if you want to explore some of the other standard sizings, you can even just search for tarpaulin over here like this and you guys can see several different templates available and different standard sizings of tarpaulins and i am going to go and search over here you guys can see the size that they are recommending is 72 by 36 inches which we saw was the size that was you know available as a standard on google so i'm just gonna go Go into custom size. We're going to create something huge. So it was 72 by 36. I'm going to go into Canva 72 and 36. Click on create new design. Make sure you have selected inches and you have not selected uh, pixels. Now keep in mind, this is going to be a huge banner when if you are printing this or if you're doing anything of that sort. To make sure your design quality or photo quality image quality is going to be pretty high resolution to ensure that your pixels are not bursting in your final image. Now I'm going to go into the canvas and I'm just going to give it a tad bit of color in the background so it just doesn't look as blank. Then let's say I want to build a advertising. So I'm just going to search for a couple of makeup items like so. And mm, I think I'm going to go with this one, this one. I'm going to click on see all. And I'm just going to go with a couple of different illustrations. So we have lipstick, a serum, some palette, and let's just search for mascara because why not we're doing makeup over here i'm just gonna go with an illustration that's in like the similar style as the other ones so it doesn't look too weird or off and once i have decided on all three of the illustrations i'm just going to resize them accordingly so they're all approximately of the same size like this and once i have resized everything I want everything to be equidistant. So I'm going to select all of them together, click on tidy up and everything is going to be tidied up. And this will allow me to have a equidistant and, you know, cohesive look. Now I can see that this mascara is not as large. What I can do is I can just make it slightly larger so it better fits and 
aligns with everything then again i'm just going to select these and this is not placed as closely as the other items so i'm just going to space everything by clicking and then these purple lines help you in seeing any you know dif differences between the sizes so you can just resize everything accordingly now again i'm gonna select everything i accidentally deleted that but we're just gonna bring it back and then we're gonna click on tidy up then you can even click on align elements and you don't want to align elements to the top or center because that would uh, make all of your elements be grouped together but you're just going to place everything like so and this does not look very cohesive when i place it at the exact center but it looks cohesive like this which is bothering me because i want things to be centered now for that purpose I have four items, so it's impossible to actually center them. I think this makes a whole lot more sense, but the mascara is a bit too on the left. So I think I'm just going to leave it because the alignment overall looks pretty decent. Now for my canvas, my tarpaulin layout in this, I want to add some more decorative elements. So I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to search for border. And in this, I'm going to go into graphics and we're going to search and look for something that, that's not too eye-catching. I want something simple and these little colored dots are going to look perfect. But I'm just going to click on the colors from the top right. And then from the left, I'm going to change the colors to individual elements from my photo colors like this. Because I want these colors to just go with the colors that are in the products and that's just going to make it look so much more interesting the skin colors in the product are a bit too light they're not showing up very nicely so i think this is going to be like the one color which i'm going to change and i'm just going to make it a bit darker once i've done that i want to place this like so and then I'm just going to do Command C and Command V just so I can place everything nicely, just like that. And I can now select all three of these together, do Command C and Command V, and then place them at the bottom as well. I'm just going to ensure everything is equidistant. Now, once I have done that, I can add some text. I can add other elements to further design this layout. And just like that, I can click on share on the top right, click on download, and I can choose my ideal size and proceed with my download. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.